Hey everybody, welcome to the Eastern Front mod for Company of Heroes 1 over here. This adds in factions like the Soviets and the Austere into the lineup. So over here we got ourselves a command squad. Go ahead and get some guys here. I'm going to move in my guys like so. And let's go ahead and also kind of change around the music a little bit. It's a little bit too low. It's actually a fairly depressing soundtrack. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and make this into the background noise, actually. That way you guys can also hear a little bit of the voices. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves the Red Army Mustering Tent. Converted squad into a penal unit receives SVT-40 and are cheaper to reinforce. Alright, pretty good shit. These guys get the flamethrower, they get the minesweeper. Standard shit. Medic truck is right over there with the healing aura. And let's go ahead and grab this point and then we'll grab this point. Hmm, I can call them conscripts from anywhere. That's pretty good. Drafted in a hurry. Could be upgraded with full rifles. Okay. Let's get these guys set up and base structures. Gonna go for the armory pretty soon, but let's just grab this really quick. This is just gonna be just a kind of this is a video just to show off like what you can kind of expect from this a little model roo as it's recently come out on Steam over here. Hmm, my conscripts still haven't come about. They should be here soon, actually. At least. Oh, there they are. Okay, grab that, and then you can grab that. I like the voice acting. It's really nicely done, actually. I always love hearing the native voices of these soldiers in a lot of these, like, RTS games. But yeah, as you can see, like, a lot of these units don't have any weapons, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Got the machine gun team coming out, and then we got the... Huh. What's this guy? Upgrade to the Red Banner. Okay. How do I actually upgrade to the next tier? Let's see. Medic truck and then... Right, the armory. Wait, they got no fuel. It seems like the f music has kind of stopped for a little bit. I think what I want to do now is maybe build an MG dugout right here. And we can get like a nice field of like action going on. Oh, they are actually pushing that area. So let's go ahead and move our guys here. We can actually also call in some more conscripts. Yeah, I don't know why the music just randomly stopped. Might be a little bit of an issue with the uh, mod itself. Okay, you guys should grab the gas over there. You know, honestly, it doesn't really matter if we lose units off of the conscript squad because they are just conscripts at the end of the day. Oh, I need some of that fuel. Like so. And I, was, I just wanted to test out that little ability to see like what it do. And so far. From what I can tell, it's giving me a lot more... Wait, wait, what does that ability do again? Let me just check. Oh, just no longer gain veterancy. But they do gain, like, new units and stuff. Oh, 
Look at that. Uh, you need Katusha, KV2, Beast Killer. Beast Killer. If something's called Beast Killer, you pick it. Yeah, let's get that armory really quick. And then we can grab the medic truck. AI is on hard difficulty, so that is something to keep in mind about. If things turned out to be a little bit too hard for me, then I'll just like lower the difficulty next time around. First and foremost, though, it's about time we actually go ahead. Ooh. Time to get these these guys in the back. Well, oh, also some many more conscripts. Conscript squad is good and ready. Back off, just back off. Oh, thank God you came back. Safe and sound. Yeah, get out of here, you fucking engineers. You cannot stop the power of the Red Army. Ooh. Uh, let's get Red Banner, actually. Oh, we still need more fuel. What a pain. Can we actually build on top of, like, up? Oh. oh. No, not over there, you fool. Oh, never mind. Get the support barracks, I suppose, and we can grab out a heavy machine gun team right here. We can actually go ahead and also get out the medic truck as soon as possible. Shit. Now, inside, I should have probably prepared for mines. But again, it's good that these guys are just conscripts. And therefore, their lives are expendable to the motherland and all that shit. Where's the minesweepers, anyway? Right, it's you. So let's get the minesweeper there and we'll go here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Good job. Now we can use our little horde here and move them forward across the map. Okay, and while that happens... These guys. Go, 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 go. Let's upgrade this guy into the next right. Oh! I'm gonna back the fuck off. These guys actually have access to 
anti infant or anti tank weaponry? That's a good question. The answer is I don't think so. So instead, what we're going to do is get out this. It's a good thing that the game mode is currently Annihilation. Unfortunately, we're currently getting annihilated, so that is quite the unfortunate circumstance. Not be able to gain veteran seat, but to be able to pay. Oh. Blood. Yep, no, 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 no. Let's let's retreat. Let's retreat. Please, please get out of there. There we go. But you're dead. So your existence didn't even matter. All right, grab some of these. Grab some of that. We will actually go ahead and grab out the last building the tank hall. Maltops, away! How about we make a little jump over there into enemy territory? Maltov, away! Backing off and you're backing off. God, he's really having some difficulty hitting that dude. Come on, get him. So I think the mod is actually really like well made in terms of like voice actors and then like you know different assets. It definitely feels like as though Relic always had like a, a Soviet like faction. They're just never played because they're bad or something. I don't know. Insert fan fiction here. Now is your time to shine. Ooh, there we go. 
talk to daddy. Damn, those mines. Ooh, this AI really knows how to do mines. Let's actually go ahead and get ourselves a second engineer team. Drag these guys over here. And also, we can always use some more conscripts. While also grabbing. If you think that number two. need to grab that you need to move there shit power rangers move oh he has another one oh shit Take out these guys. Did they just die as soon as the my sweepers nearby. It seems like it. it. Certainly does. Hmm. Let's see. Let's get these guys finally. Every single time I think I have a shot at like a vehicle, I clearly do not. Okay, that's a perfectly good anti-tank gun, so we're not going to really leave that up to these guys over here. Shit, yeah. Offensive tactics. There we Of cocktail go Those scripts are really powerful actually like really really powerful actually Holy fuckaroo. We got, we managed to actually push through. 
I really love the SU85 or the IS2. Damn, that costs so much fuel. Look at this. Ten. Just ten. That's it. That's all it requires to have like a super army here. Oh, these are the Scully, or whatever they're called. Oh, you weren't killed? It's quite surprising. Nice, there we go. Now they're dead. Let's get that red banner guy. Additional reserves would be great. You know, I was honestly expecting that. Come on, dude, spin him. There we go. So we can turn everybody around. We're almost ready to call it in, actually. Let's see, what else can I get? Ah, there we go. We need to get the outpost. seeing that now is pretty cringy but I was able to actually like survive through this that's pretty good it's kind of weird to see like the um the co-1 interpretation of the Soviets in comparison to like the co-2 interpretation they're definitely similar but they're kind of two different beasts actually at the same time it's kind of cool it's like seeing a portrait of what could have been if um Co 2 was strongly more aligned with Co 1, sort of like design um, aspects of mine. Oh, fuck me. We do have Annihilate on, so do not worry. If you want a complete destruction, you'll get complete destruction. I believe that is the PPSH, a unit that I fell in love with, or a weapon that I fell in love with from the uh, Call of Duty World of War days. Wow, I suppressed them. Is that assumed that did? Go ahead and move forward a little bit more. We'll clear out this area a little bit. Now we can actually get the beast. Right over here. Let's see what this beast looks like. Good god! This one red banner dude is holding the line! Yeah, save sounds so much more badass in this mod than it does in World at War, actually. Oh, I found the beast. Look at it. Look at how 
amazing it is. Look at it. Ooh. It is a beautiful creation. One of which will never be made in 5,000 years. Go ahead and plant down a heavy machine gun team right there. You lot, move here. You guys deserve a rest, honestly, but I mean... Damn, we're about to see some bombs being dropped. Oh, not enough damage. Not enough damage. I regret everything. We could probably push forward if need be. I'd rather risk the command squad, so... Yep. I did already see the, um... The fucking mine. I just wanted to do it again, just because I thought, like, oh, the mine was gone. But no, I was wrong. Like most things. Let's go ahead and just plant down that outpost. No! No! No. Mike. Who's my favorite? I'll crush you for this! The power of the IS-2 tank! Damn! Oh. Yeah, that was gonna happen regardless. What can I get to counter this? I could wait for the SU-85. This is a very good tactic. One of which has no faults whatsoever. So that's where that um engineer team went. That's pretty cool actually, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, uh, why did I do that button? That was not the button I wanted. Team, burn in hell. Okay, while you guys do that, time for the SU. Could get the breakthrough here. Well, that would that would cost me so much. Let's just get the IST right now. <laughs> You see, I don't want to send the engineers to their doom, but I'm going to do it anyway. Besides, it's so far working. Damn. There's the SU-85 right there. Damn. More speeches. Super inspiring. Go! It's like when he fires the earth. Get back. 
here and tank gun. You're not leaving my sights. Conscripts, move forward. Might as well just make them fix bayonets and charge at this point. It'd be a more worthwhile tactic. This tank is not gonna die. You can build as many knights cross holders as possible, but it's not gonna die. The tank is beyond giving a single fuck about the afterlife. I build anti tank. Does it not exist anymore? What? How were? this puny gun. Look how small it is. So puny. Let's see a real man's gun. Just, just no. Use the rocket. It's clear I must take you all out now. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. Party in here now. Party of Durm. I can set fire to my tank. It's, it's not that armor really can fire like this. Inspiring speech is inspiring. Run, run, run! It's inspiring. My command squad has finally died. I'm also losing all my units. Oh, never mind. It's okay. I have super tanks. With the IS-2. Let's move him over here. We also got the KV-1 if we're a good boy or not. wonder if maybe you're just spamming out. Oh, BT-7. Wow, you can upgrade them with... 100 millimeter cannons? Holy shit. I don't know what this house is made of, but they should make airplanes out of it. Yeah, this is the one thing I don't like about Annihilate Mode. You already got the guy on your balls and stuff, and this HQ is just really tough. I know, like, why it's done, because, like, RD strikes are a thing. No, no, this is a big fucking thing. Oh well, it's ogre. Your <laughs> tanks getting slowly damaged by small arms fire. That's great. Now, can we finally finish these guys off? I don't think it's a loss until all the all the engineers are dead. Last one, that's it. 
You cannot. You cannot live, Mr. G German Engineer. There we go. And that was a, a nice meme, folks. That would be the Eastern Front mod. We'll be taking a look at this mod and more mods later on. See you guys next time. Bye bye.